What do you say when someone goes, I need to go back and get approval from my boss or my team? We always teach when there's any type of resistance, any type of friction, any type of obstacle, you start with a question. We call it question first. And so the question here would be, in this case, what do you feel like they're going to say? You say, I need to take this back to my team. Okay. So when you take it back to your team, what do you feel like they're going to say? Now they're going to say, well, I feel like... Now you come right back with another question. You say, what makes you say that? Notice once again, they're explaining because what you have to do is really give them clarity with their own thoughts through your questions. So you're letting them self-discover and in turn, you're also unearthing things that are crucial in understanding their point of view. Also, when anybody goes and says, I need to talk with my team, another very effective question is, if you had to say why they wouldn't like this idea, what would you say? When you ask that question and they say, I'm not sure, it's always important that you come right back and you ask it again. But if you had to choose, what would it be? And what's interesting is whenever somebody gives you a non-answer to what is a basic question, like if you had to say an objection they might have, what do you think it would be? And they say, geez, I'm not really sure. You come right back again and say, you probably don't know, but if you had to say one, what would it be? So now you're going to get an answer. And now you're going to start to make progress because then you can say, and if they did say that objection, what would you say as a response? You see, you have to teach the person to do your teaching for you. You're going to be able to help them deliver it to their team. But ultimately, we all know we don't want them delivering it to their team because you need to be the messenger because messengers that carry your message to other people only screw it up. And so always, always try to make sure you're the one delivering it to the team.